the night the night of did you did you feel any you feel like anything was going wrong or like, you know everything was just cool what, what was your vibration that night the night was cool man you know you didn't you didn't feel like nothing was going to happen that night. You know what I mean? You know, it wasn't like a regular L.A. party. You know, this is like, you know, it's the vibe. It's the vibe party. You know, all the celebrities did. This is, you know, this is the you know, award weekend. You know, the, them type of parties. You know, some parties be different. The weekend award right. parties. It's not like you're a regular, you're hosting somewhere mm -hmm. or you're doing a party somewhere. It's just you and that town. It's people from all over. You know what I mean? And um, everything just, like, felt regular. You know what I'm saying? You know, and everybody was just showing big, wow, love. They play hypnotized like 20 times. I mean, I was walking around the club, you know what I'm saying, by myself. You know, he'd be like, yo, you know, go look for some shorties, my nigga. See what's good. Because we just started speaking, because he wasn't speaking to me for like a day or two. Because some shit happened. I fucked up a, I, I fucked up a little situation in LA. He was really mad at me. He ain't speaking to me for like a whole day. So we just started to like talk again like two days before that. So he was like, yo, go circle the spot. See what's in here. You know, I go circle it. And everything was just smooth. I wasn't getting no problems. Nobody throwing up no West Side at us or nothing. And um, after they played the record a few times, we just ended up kicking it. Everybody coming, congratulating Big, Jermaine Dupree, the, the brat, everybody. And the next thing you know, they make this announcement saying everybody got to leave. It's a fire hazard. You know what I mean? Like, it's too crowded. So, you know, you know we all like, all right, so we're going to make our ways in. We're going to make our ways out towards the door. And once we started going out, regular shit. No, you don't see nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Uh, we get to the valet shit, get down the stairs waiting for the cars to pull up. Puff car come first, and uh, he kind of pulls up a little bit. It took a little minute for Big car to come. That's why you see that last picture with Big sitting there with the cane smoking a cigarette, because we just waiting for the car. So when the car finally pull up, you know, we hops in, Big hop in the passenger seat. I'm right behind Big. You know, right behind him. In the, uh, he in the passenger seat. I'm right behind him. And D-Rock is on the side of me behind the driver. And we pull out. We make a right. We pull out. We got caught at that light. Puff is in front of us. Puff catch the light. We didn't catch the light. We stopped. And uh, we in that middle lane. And I, I see some girls walking by. And I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, your short age. Yo, Ma, what y'all doing? Yo, come fuck with us after this. And before you know it, this car just pulled up on the side of us. Ain't yell nothing. Ain't say nothing. It just started firing in the truck. Everybody get down in the truck. You know, we all, like, boil down in the truck. After the, after the firing stopped, all of us hop out. And we hop out. You know, we, we lean on the back of the truck, you know, just to, like, and the only one door didn't open was Big. So we all turned around and ran right back to the car. And, uh, you know, Big is linked over on the car. So, like, eyes, like, popping wide open. He didn't yell, didn't say nothing. Puff car came back around. Puff truck comes back around. And um, Puff uh, jumps out. You know, he jumps in the car. He's talking to Big, talking to Big for a second. Then we realized, like, yo, we wasting time. He's like, yo, come on, jump in. Let's get to the hospital. And we all just jumped in the car. And we just, like, running every red light, every light, jumping on curves, trying to get him to the hospital. By the time we, when we got to the hospital, it took like six people to pull him out. And um, he just, he was unconscious. So it was a lot of dead weight. So it took like six people to grab him and take him in the hospital. And I didn't go in the hospital right away. I stayed outside. I didn't even go in there when they, when they, when they picked him up and dragged him up and put him in the hospital. I stayed outside the whole time. You wouldn't go inside? Was there a reason? You just... I, was just, I was just nervous. I was, I was nervous. It ain't, it ain't look right to me. You know, just when they was taking him out the car, just ain't, just ain't feel good. But you're just thinking, like, he going to be good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, all right, ain't no headshot. There's no, like, that. we couldn't tell where he got shot at either. You know what I mean? We just know, like, he got shot in his side. So you're just thinking, like, all right, it's big. He going he gonna to pull through. I'm outside more angry than anything. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I forgot who called me in there. I think it was Mark Pitts or Rock or somebody called me inside. And when I came inside the room, it was a bunch of grown-ass men, like, laying on the floor with their, head, with their hands over their face, crying and shit. I'm like, the fuck happened? And they was like, yo, he ain't make it. What? Huh? Nah, y'all lying. And it was like, yo, he ain't make it. Everybody just started going crazy in, the, in, in this room. And after that, like about three minutes after us just sobbing and crying, somebody popped the question like, yo, who gonna tell his mother? Who gonna make that call to Mama Wallace and tell her right now that uh, her son is uh, dead in L.A. And uh, D. Rock had to make that phone call. He was the only one that took the phone. Never do it. Nobody else. Mark Pitts was in that room. Uh, I think Faith was in there. There's a few other people in there. Nobody wanted to. Uh, nobody wanted to grab that phone and make that phone call. D. Rock did though. And she was on the plane smoking. She was on the first flight. First red eye flight, she was, we was picking up from the airport that next morning. D 
did you, when, when you realized what happened and that Big was gone, did you get, did you get out of there immediately or did you stay with your man? What, what did you Oh, do? no, I stayed, I stayed with D-Rock. Um, I stayed with D-Rock. He wasn't a, D-Rock was like, yo, I'm not leaving. And I was scared to go back to Brooklyn without Big. I was scared to just around the plane by myself, like without nobody. I was like, all right, well, if you stand, I'm staying. He was trying to send me home too. Like, yo, little bro, you know, you can go home if you want to. I was like, nah, I'm not going home. I'm staying here. You saying we're going to stay here till Big Body come back to Brooklyn. I'm going to stay with you, nigga, till Big Body come back to Brooklyn. Everybody else left. Faith stayed too. Faith was out there still too. And, you know, um, I wasn't going to leave D-Rock like that because it was really just us three out there. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, I'm not leaving you out here like that. And I was scared to really go back by myself, too. Like, when I'm, I'm about to go back home and have to explain this, like, you know, like, nah, dude, we gonna, I'm going to stay out here until we figure everything out. So, nah, I didn't leave. I stayed out there the whole time. And how long was that? A couple uh, we of was days? out there for, like another, like, another three days. You know, you had to get interrogated, of course. His mom had to come out there, you know, and... Uh, Identify the body and all that type of stuff, you know, all of that hospital stuff and then you know, the autopsy and all them things. So we were still out there for a good three days, good three more days, three, four more days. We were still out there. When he comes back, and people, I know that you might not understand this because you're not from New York. I don't think we're ever going to see another funeral like that for black people. Batman Scoop.